doing? So I am back today with another post-op video. So today is going to be my one week post-op video since I've had my smooth tuck or mini tummy tuck with fat transfer to my hips. So um, yesterday, well let me backtrack because if you're new to my channel you're just watching this video, all the videos that have to do with this video will be linked in the cards up here for you guys. So just click that if you want to kind of see my journey and how I got to this point right now. So that'll be in the cards. Now, um, my surgery was scheduled uh, for April 15, 2019, which is last Monday. So today is April 23rd, 2019. So it's Tuesday. So yesterday was my post-op visit. So yesterday I was going to film the post-op visit, but... Um, my dumb ass in the morning i was rushing around like trying to rush around because i'm still a little hunched over so i was trying to get my stuff together my boyfriend had already left so he kind of preset me up before he left and um i ordered my uber i made sure i took my other pills i was trying to wait at least an hour before the um the follow-up to uh, take my tie and all and i completely forgot it the uber took me about like 45 minutes to get there so um not even for like 35 minutes to get there so i thought that i had time i rushed grabbed all this stuff and completely forgot to take my tie and all so i was like at that point like oh my god i don't know how this is going to turn out what is it going to hurt whatever long story short I just did not want to film that part just because I didn't know what my reaction was going to be I was alone so I was like you know what whatever I'm just going to come back and talk to them honestly and truly it was simple as hell like I don't even know why I freaked myself out about it like I said this is the first time I ever had like a big procedure done so I was like really scared having a tube out of me and then having all these stitches down the, my crotch line and stuff like that so I was really weirded out but guys it was a simple it was a simple visit like simple AF so the funny thing about the way my doctor's office works, she was so funny. So the PA is the one that's doing some of my post-op uh, care. Um, my physician will obviously have to come in like next week and he'll do um, the two weeks, a week and a half from now because we have something else to do, meaning the garment changes, which I'll get into a little bit later. Um, so the PA was really nice and what she did at my doctor's office, she told me, go ahead and take everything off. Now, I had this binder on with all this uh, padding underneath, so I've never ever taken it off since my procedure last Monday. So when she told me just to take it off and she'll be back, I was like, what? So I went ahead and started pulling this stuff off and I was really nervous because I honestly felt like the binder was holding everything in uh, for the entire week. So I didn't know if like, you know, my stomach was gonna just like, you know, like, Oh, give up or I don't know I don't know what I thought it's just a really really weird experience especially when you're getting a new stomach I know this is kind of weird and some people who have had tummy tucks before know exactly what I'm talking about so I took off everything and I just kind of felt like really different like um obviously my stomach's not hanging anymore and I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like quick shot um well you know a fast little shot um so it was really really different because i was nothing was hanging but remember guys i'm still in a uh, hunched over position so i feel like i have to hold my stomach a lot just because i just want to protect it now the belly button for me is a little bit different i've never been able to see my belly button if you guys have been following me for a long time you guys know i've had like weight loss up and down for a while so i was not really able to see my belly button before because my stomach was always scrunched so i was never able to like open it and actually physically see it i would clean my belly button just you know by you know soap and water and just know that I was cleaning it and drying it so that's how I knew I had to clean my belly button but I've never been able to see inside so this time around I looked down I'm like oh my god I have a belly button so in the beginning when I saw the belly button I was a little weirded out because I'm like it looks like a black gaping hole so in the beginning when you get it done you might be like what the hell but the belly button actually looks really realistic to me honestly it is still a little bit big obviously it has to heal up it takes about like three weeks to four weeks for it to completely heal itself um, my belly button does have inner stitches and then all my stitches along the sides and uh, around the uh, line that he drew me and everything they all dissolve by themselves which I like that factor of not having to keep going back in having them retaken out and stuff like that so my belly button stitches will either just dissolve or they'll fall off by themselves so she just told me just to clean the belly button regularly now this is another thing that I find kind of weird. It feels weird to have a belly button open like this because it just, I could feel like fresh air and stuff. Like it just, I don't know, it's something weird about it. If you've had a tummy tuck before, if you've had an experience like this before, then you can leave your comments down below and you know, if you agree with that, what I'm saying. It just feels weird to feel like air going into my belly button. Um, and I know you guys are like, bitch, what are you talking about? You never saw a belly button. If you have that type of stomach that folds, you really don't like that really like closed stomach belly button you really don't get an opportunity to actually see it so i've had that experience that's the type of stomach i had before so it just feels a little weird because you can kind of feel air going into it 
Obviously, I'm not able to wear my stomach out without garments. So for now, I'm doing the binder for the next week and a half. I'm going back in a week and a half to get fitted for my garment. So the garment that I'm getting, I have to wear it for six to eight weeks. And when I tell you guys that you guys are going to be so pissed when these try and hauls come up because... If I have to wear this garment six to eight weeks, you will see this garment six to eight weeks. I'm not taking this off. Like, I'm I'm just not. Like, the money, you got to put all that stuff into consideration. I'm trying to get the best results ever, and I'm doing exactly what the doctor says. Now, you guys know I got a fat transfer to my hip, so it's I had a little bit of an issue with the left side. So my left side is really swollen compared to my right side. So I'm looking like a little lopsided. Not really. It's kind of going down. But the left side, I did have like a seroma. So I have a big seroma and then I have like a few little ones at the bottom, but they have all dissolved, uh, resolved themselves. I do still have like a little fluid in some, but it's not as much, so it's kind of absor reabsorbing, which is excellent. So what I'm doing for that area is just putting bacitracin and just like a non-stick uh, Teflon pad or whatever. So just real basic stuff. Um, you could treat it yourself if you want to, but my doctor told me to put bacitracin on just a little non-stick pad. So I've been doing that on this side just to make sure it's clean and covered. Um, as far as my incision, my incision is kind of like that long incision. It's a little hard to show you guys right now because I'm not standing really straight. So I can show you guys my belly and how it looks. I'm still swollen a lot. Now here's one thing that I have not heard anyone else say on on this on YT that I was confused about. So um, I started off, my weight fluctuates on so between 157 to 164 pounds. That's just how my weight goes since I've been on keto and since I've been on modified keto. It just stays between 157 and 164, which I'm cool with. So um, for this procedure, I went in on surgery day and I believe I was 162 pounds. So my current weight since of yesterday, uh, since my one week post-op, is 176 pounds. So I know some of you guys are like, damn bitch, you gained mad weight. Yeah, in essence I did. But a lot of the weight that I gained is just swelling weight. It's just my body kind of getting itself back together, back to equilibrium. So once the swelling reduces down, I'll be back to the old Dom, I guess same down so um even my legs even i looked at my thighs my thighs are huge like all the areas that they did especially because they put the fat transfer in my thighs my upper thigh area is swollen but then my legs actually are swollen in the inner thigh area and the outside th thigh area and i didn't notice that until i got back home because now i'm able to walk more and stuff around the house so when you do start walking more you start seeing that whoa you you know you're a little bit swollen so i definitely gained a few pounds but uh, she did reassure me that i'll be fine and the weight will just come down once the swelling comes down so right now i'm just a puffy mess but i'm actually very very happy um like i said i didn't have expectations when i um got the surgery because I never had a flat stomach. Um, I'm still not flat now. It's pretty flat, but I still have a lot of swelling underneath, so I'm just working on that. Now, another thing, they did take the drain out, which was a pretty simple process. They, you know, it's there's a, it's just, it was just very easy. She was really nice. My drain for me didn't bother me at all. It was probably the most invisible thing during this procedure. The worst pain I had, I told you guys, was a constipation, and that's pretty much come to a T a little it has come to an end um I did have a little bit of constipation yesterday so I did take a cola so if you have the tablets and you're trying to become regular again I definitely say just take them if you're feeling some type of irregular irregularity yeah so if you're feeling some type of irregularity I would say go ahead and take it but if you're not then you're back to normal you can just go ahead and stop that I do take other things I take like herbal teas and stuff like that so those pretty much work for me so um other than that, pain level, none. I don't take the Tylenol anymore. One thing I do want to point out to you guys that is, oh my gosh, is pro probably going to be the worst. Um, because I got a tummy tuck with a fat transfer, hence the fact I need like something cushiony on my, um, on my uh, thigh area, my waist or hips or whatever. Um, the thing about it is when you get a regular tummy tuck, you're able to sleep on your back. And then sometimes I believe some people are able to sleep on their side, depending on where the drain is at. Unfortunately, I cannot sleep any of those ways. I have to sleep like on my butt and just like that because I can't have too many like objects obstructing my hips and then like my stomach. So sucking, for, uh, sucking, sleeping right now kind of sucks, especially because I'm hunched over. So I'm having a lot of back pain. And it's back pain just from the positions I'm sleeping, stacking up pillows on my back. Like, I'm just, I feel like I was more comfortable when I was, um, it's funny, I was more comfortable at my mom's house. Not even, I was just more comfortable in the early stages when I was 
you know, when I had the muscle relaxant and stuff like that. I kind of feel like now that, you know, I'm still hunched over, which I thought I've been straightened up by now, I'm still having like this back pain. So the back pain for me is just like, what? So I've tried, I found different ways, like I'm probably gonna sleep on the couch tonight. My boyfriend said he'll probably sleep in the living room with me, whatever. So um, I'll probably have to sleep on the couch upright and put my feet up on something. I do have the pillows underneath my legs so my knees are flexed at night. So that's something I just do. I knew that from the jump street that you have to sleep like that. So my knees are flexed. I put like two pillows stacked up and then I just put my, um, I put them underneath my knees and that's how I sleep but guys my back is killing me I did read something on real self that someone said that they were um, doing stretching um, exercises every day as as far as they can and that was helping them you know stretch out a little bit more but I can say that I'll stand up and show you guys I can say that I'm a little bit better now like my um like I was really like this before like I was hunched girl so I can say that I'm a little bit better now, but um, you guys can see like everything is pretty much compact like that. Like I'm like really, really crunched, but I think that with time I should stretch out. Even like in my upper thigh area right here, it's still very, very tense. So the incision looks very, very tense down there, which is another reason why um, like I'm trying to be as careful as possible and I just jumped on here but it's pretty soft I have this really soft um, throw blanket that's protecting my hips so I like it so um, like I said I don't know I feel like overall with the just the beginning of the results like I said I'm not like jumping to see results like this I'm not rushing this process that's just not what I'm doing I spent my money I want the best results ever so like I said you guys will see me in this garment till the end of time and i know some people that get tummy tucks or smooth tucks or whatever that end up wearing the tummy uh, the the garment just because they like how supportive it is and comfortable even with their stomach being flat that's just something they like so i'm going to um follow what my doctor says i'm going to ask him about massages he's not one of those doctors that does like the massage things at his office but i'm pretty sure he'll tell me that i can go and get the massages done but i'm going to wait until i get fitted for the garment first before i go and do the massages just because i want to make sure his method of it um, his method is the method that it's this essentially it's nice to take opinions from other people and stuff like that but I chose this plastic surgeon just because I like the way he did his work so I want to make sure that I need to follow his criteria to make sure that I become one of his good work and all his work is pretty good get what I'm saying guys like I just want to make sure I do it his way because his way is the way that I like I like his results so I am going to inquire about the massage but if he's not into it then I'm fine with that like I said I think so far with the hip ratio and the um in the stomach i think like it's exactly what i wanted uh even though i'm still swollen i look a little bit wonky on one side and a little bit okay on the other side i honestly and truly feel like um the results are going to be exactly what i wanted now that i can see into the future so i'm pretty excited about that i'll be just in time for my vacations in july so i have a few trips planned so i'll be like i'll be perfect well not perfect i'll be just right for a trip for my trips coming up bathing suits I could wear and just excitement so I'm really excited about that um I hope that kind of sums everything up another thing I want to mention I'm still taking my medicine so I'm taking I'm just taking my multivitamins I take a colace now just to put me back still I don't know who's emailing me and I also take um my multivitamins and iron tablets so I take iron still just because bleeding I'm, I'm anemic anyway so I'm just going to take them as a long-term supplement they did say um stock up on some vitamin c e and a stuff so i'm gonna get some veg some fruits and stuff like that they're rich in vitamin c i'm gonna actually order some stuff on instacart right now it's not sponsored uh, so um yeah so i'm pretty happy guys i feel better i just wish i was straight uh, you know sitting straight the garment i have to wear for 24 hours until a week and a half when i go back for my actual garment uh, fitting so this binder is going to stay on 24 7 i'm able to shower showering was a little scary in the beginning i'm not gonna lie i told my boyfriend i was really scared and he was like he was like to me like calm down i'm like yo i'm scared like i'm never like ha like it's just it's weird it's weird I, I know someone is gonna leave a comment tell me they know exactly what i'm talking about it's a little bit weird but um yeah so 
I think I've made it. Um, I haven't made it completely yet to the finish line, but I made it um, past the one week hurdle. So I am super blessed and super thankful. Thank you guys for supporting me. And yeah, so I'll come back on for a two week update or um, two and a half week update when I get the garment fitted and we'll go into details about that. Thank you guys for watching my video today. Love you so much and I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.